Hey, what's going on there everybody? Protein Bar Review Guy here. Up today, we have another request for you. As promised, I hear your comments and I listen. And so today, up we have a no cow bar. All right, this one is chocolate fudge brownie. Before we get started, remember to hit like, subscribe, and remember to share this with any of your friends who you know eat bars or, you know, or whatever, just wanna learn more about ingredients and food in general. Okay, um, so on this channel, we review protein bars based on ingredients, calories, protein content, macros, taste, texture, and we give them an overall score of one through 10. All right, and as promised, the new segment of the show at the end here, I'm gonna give you what's called the tighten up tip of the day. A lot of people wanna get results in the gym. They wanna lean out, they wanna get more definition, they wanna get tighter. Um, so I'm giving you one overall tip at the end of the day and I'm gonna elaborate on it for you know three to five minutes um, to help you out to get more results with uh, changing your shape, changing your figure. All right, so up, uh, Today, this no cow protein bar, chocolate fudge brownie. Um, they're advertising on the front, dairy free, 21 grams of plant protein, one gram of sugar. But let's take a deeper look. All right. So ingredients, we've got a protein blend of brown rice protein and pea protein. Good so far, they're not using soy protein isolate. That's pretty good. All right, then we get into soluble corn fiber, glycerin, cocoa nibs, palm oil, almonds, cocoa powder, natural flavors, salt, water, cocoa butter, sweetener blend, which is erythritol, stevia leaf, and monk fruit. That's a, that's a very good um, sweetener blend right there, I would say. They're not using sucralose, aspartame, acesulfame, potassium, uh, maldotol, maldotol syrup. They're not using any of that junk, all right? Um, so that's pretty good. That's all low glycemic, uh, index sweeteners there for you. Um, really the only sketchy thing in here is natural flavors, which could be anything, we, we don't really know. Um, that's about it. So it also says gluten-free, non-GMO, verified. It's got the U on there. I think that means kosher. Uh, sorry, I'm not uh, aware of that one. I think that's what that means, but um, Anyways, uh, I'm gonna give this a nine on ingredients, um, really only deducting one point for natural flavors because that drives me nuts. I don't know what it is. We're not allowed to know, and the FDA is letting them put that on there. You know, it could be anything. You know, it could be monosodium glutamate, MSG, we don't know. All right, so nine for ingredients. Let's look at calories. We got 210. All right, right what we like to see, between 180 and 220 calorie range for a bar. Uh, so calories on that, giving it a 10 for calorie count. Now let's look at the protein content, 21 grams. All right, we're getting somewhere here. All right, so we like to see 20 grams as the benchmark for that 180 to 220 calorie window. We've got 21 grams in this one at four calories per gram. That's 84 calories of this 210 bar is uh, from protein. So still less than half, still about 40% protein, but we've seen a lot worse than bars. We've seen bars that are mostly fat, mostly carbs. Uh, so let's look at the other uh, protein content. So we're gonna give that uh, an eight. We'll give that eight for protein content. Uh, now let's look at the macros. Against those 21 grams of protein, we've got 23 grams of carbs, 15 grams of dietary fiber in there. That says they're calling that 54% of your dietary fiber. So watch out with this one. Uh, total sugar, one gram, zero grams of added sugar, sugar alcohols, five grams, a little on the high side for sugar alcohols. And then the fat is eight grams at nine calories per gram. That's 72 calories of this bar is fat. So, uh, you know, really you've got, uh, I guess you could say the majority of this bar is carbs and protein, even though it has more carbs than protein or fat. Um, you know, I guess selling bars and calling them carb bars uh, is not a very good uh, marketing strategy. Um, so they're calling it a protein bar, uh, but still majority of this is from carbs. Um, so macros on this, I'm gonna give that a six. Not totally trashy because if you're eating this after a workout, those carbs are good, right? Remember your muscles are hungry. You just burned all that muscle glycogen working hard and uh, you know, breaking a sweat, 
and you want to replenish that muscle glycogen as soon as you can after a workout so your body starts rebuilding and stops breaking down and eating away. All right, you know, the anabolic window, as we like to say, um, right after your workout. Feed those muscles, stop the breakdown, start the rebuilding. So carbs are good for that. All right, so uh, six for macros. Let's see how this thing tastes. I love chocolate fudge, so uh, I hope this is good. All right, so look at that thing. Uh, not really much going on, pretty simple. Uh, you know, it just looks like a chocolate covered brownie there. It tastes pretty good. I mean, it's all right. Um, it's pretty chalky. Um, not overly sweet. I kind of like that. Um, this is not a bar that's gonna hurt your teeth, you know, like one of those Gatorade bars with like 28 grams of sugar in it. Um, yeah, this is this is pretty chalky, not overly sweet. Um, the closest thing I can compare it to that we reviewed was that plant-based, organic, uh, muscle farm, chocolate toffee bar. It's one of the way earlier ones we reviewed. Um, this tastes pretty similar to it. Yeah, it does taste chocolatey, but it's mostly a dry, chocolatey taste. Um, it seems like a very, very, very thin coating of chocolate frosting on the outside, barely even noticeable. Um, but texture is pretty good as a, as a brownie, very simple, um, chewy, not too soft, not too hard. Um, but overall, you know, complexity of it, you know, there's nothing complex going on there. There's no crunch, there's no real chewiness. Uh, you know, pretty much you've got the one, you know, brownie texture to it. So taste, uh, I'm gonna give it a six for taste. Um, it doesn't taste bad, it's just a little on the dry side, a little chalky. But if you don't want a bar that's overly sweet, this could be it. Uh, texture, again, a six. Nothing spectacular going on there. Pretty much mono consistency. It's a brownie. You know, they could spice it up, maybe put some more frosting on the outside. Maybe a little chocolate cookie crunch on the inside. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here, throwing ideas out about this chocolate brownie. Maybe make it better. All right, so let's recap here. Um, we like the ingredients. We like the calorie count, we like the protein content, macros, we're a little out of balance, the taste and texture were disappointing. But for this one, overall, um, I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to give it an 8. This this could be um, one of your all-around go-to bars, uh, you know, because it's got pretty, very clean ingredients, except for that natural flavors. Um, so ingredient-wise, it could be that go-to bar. Macros, protein content, if you're trying to avoid dairy, avoid whey. It's got good plant-based proteins in there, no soy. So this is getting an eight from Protein Bar Review Guy. All right, as promised, today's tip of the day is based on your nutrition. This will help you get results fastest. This was a game changer for me, and right off the bat, I'm gonna say I am not endorsed by Under Armour in any way, but I'm going to recommend the MyFitnessPal app. For tracking your food and reaching your nutrition goals. It is by far what I found to be the easiest, simplest food tracking app around. And this was a huge game changer for me. Once I started tracking my food, uh, my training got much better. I was getting the results I wanted. I was able to perform better um, and reach my goals and, and, and still grow. And, and uh, you know, I think I'm still growing. And then what I would recommend along with that, since you're gonna be tracking your food, is a digital scale. These are super easy to use and super cheap. Doesn't have to be any complex. I got this on Amazon for nine bucks. I didn't even have to leave my house. Got delivered here for nine bucks. You're not spending a lot of money. And uh, I've had this thing for probably five years now and it has not broken. You just gotta change the batteries every once in a while, um, which is not hard. It's like a little, you know, one of those ones that looks like a nickel. Um, so that is my tip of the day and in that app you can set your macro goals you know like um, for example when I'm trying to lean out I do 25% carb 35% fat and 
40% of my daily intake is from protein. Um, if you're bulking, you might want to just flip the carb and fat ratio. So you're still doing, you know, 40%, 45% of your day uh, calories from protein, and then just flip the carbs and the fat. So try to do 20% or below of fat and, you know, 35% carb for the day. Um, if you're trying to bulk cleanly, that'll minimize the amount of fat that you're storing, uh, you know, sticking to the ribs while you're trying to grow. Um, because you're basically just giving your body those, you know, protein and carbs and then very minimal fat. So as your body's in that surplus of calories, you're not storing a bunch of fat. So that's my tip of the day. No cow, chocolate fudge brownie, getting an eight. And then download the MyFitnessPal app. It's free. Get yourself a $9 digital scale. Start tracking. Start making those goals and hold yourself to them. And you'll get results that you've been trying for. All right. I'm Protein Bar Review Guy. Remember to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. All right. I'll catch you later.